Manco.trade is a TF2 trading site where you can instantly trade off your TF2 items. Adding Manco.trade to your Steam name gives you an additional 2% bonus. Right now, Manco.trade is doing an unusual giveaway, so check them out in the description below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to another episode of the Patreon loadout series. If you don't know what this series is, essentially I just bring you some of the loadouts that belong to some of my patrons. It's a great opportunity for you guys to give your opinions on them, and maybe take some inspiration for your own loadouts, as some of these loadouts are really nice, and some of them can be affordable, especially if you look past the unusual aspect. But overall, there's some really nice loadouts here, I'm excited to get them to you. Apologies for the fact I sound ill, it's because quite frankly, I am very ill but I'm still grinding out and making this video so without further ado let's get into the first loadout of the episode so our first loadout is for the demo man and this demo man loadout belongs to moist now this demo man loadout consists of some strange antlers a mask of the shaman and an unusual voodoo juju with the effect of haunted phantasm jr now what I really like about this loadout that I've actually said previously is I really like how in this loadout and many others that we've seen in the series, there's no actual body cosmetics. I think it's just a really nice way of emphasising the hat and the effect. The Mask of the Shaman is a really awesome and almost underrated cosmetic. And those antlers really aren't too noticeable, but when you see them, it really does kind of like complement the ghosts well when they're flying past. I love the colour of the ghosts as well. I just think the Haunted Phantasm effect and the Ghastly Ghost as well are really, really cool. So that's definitely a really nice loadout. The Juju is really cool. And you almost can't see that like red band with the bones tucked in because it's covered by the mask. But overall, just a really nice clean loadout. Now this one goes out to all the Pokemon fans. As many of you may remember from that themed loadout episode, which was actually a Patreon video, this is pa this is Palesman Fox's heavy loadout. This is meant to look like Crash Awake, who is a gym leader from the fourth generation series, which was Diamond and Pearl. And, I mean, it's pretty similar, except this time it has an unusual effect being searing plasma on the large luchador. I think the Wilson's Weave painted white along with the heavy lifter is a really accurate representation and the large luchador really does replicate the face paint that Crusher Wake wears. Overall this is a really cool themed loadout and that searing plasma effect is really really cool to the loadout, it's a nice subtle effect to add. Okay, so up next, guys, we've actually got the Engineer, and this is going to be Cactus's new improved Engineer loadout. We've got a Miami Knights Crones Dome with a gold-painted insulator, insulated inventor and a gold-painted Max's head. Now, I think the gold paint on the Max's head really does go well with the Miami Knights of the Crones Dome. The bright flashing lights are emphasised by the gold and the bright colours of the Max's head. And that gold underlayer on the insulated inventor goes perfectly with that Max's head. And the Crones is like a nice separator, but it's also got that yellow face down the middle. It's just a really nice, like, bright themed loadout. You've even got the little yellow duck which is just that tiny bit extra of like gold. But overall, this is just such a cool loadout. I think the Maxes and the Crones Dome, although there's heavily like a lot of clipping, I still think it looks really good together. And especially with the colors, as I mentioned earlier, it's just a really nice clean looking loadout. I even like the little yellow like, cuffs as you can see on the left hand of the engineer you don't see gold maxes often normally they're team spirit or lime or black really nice use of effects and paint together so coming up next guys we've actually got a loadout for the sniper and this sniper loadout is going to be belonging to dl apologies if i pronounce that wrong but we've actually got a cloud nine anger along with a strange down under duster and a little chameleon on the shoulder painted grey called Joseph. I approve of that name. What I really like about this loadout is how the anger is used with the down under duster. I think that's a really cool combination because you get the red hood and the red undershirt which go well together. But you've also got that brown face mask and the brown on the coat. And the grey of the chameleon, I genuinely didn't notice it was there. Not to make like a chameleon camouflage punt, but like low key. That chameleon was pretty camouflaged. It's also got a professional killstreak Australian sniper rifle and a strange frying pan. It's just a really nice loadout, man. It's a really clean. The cosmetics work perfectly together. I didn't notice the chameleon. Let me know it initially before I read it out if you guys saw it. Um, but yeah, man, that's a really nice looking sniper loadout. I love the card nine effect. Definitely a very underrated effect in my opinion. And yeah, really nice looking loadout. So up next, we've got Nate the Great's heavy loadout. This consists of a green energy white Russian, a El Dudorino, and a yellow painted Dead of Night. I instantly love the green energy effects. For those of you who know me, you know the green energy and purple energy are two of my favourite effects. So instantly, this has a special place in my heart. 
I think the cool effect really does like complement the green energy and they go really well together as you can see in this loadout like they just do go really well together and I think the El Dudorino and the White Russian are a really nice combo and the yellow of that Dead of Night just kind of like stand out a bit from the brown head top and the, the kind of brown beard the brown hair and the black glasses the yellow kind of bounces off that and overall it's just a really nice loadout i love green energy as i said and with cool it's just a really nice good weapon to hat combo and to finish off the episode guys here is psycho's pyro loadout this pyro loadout consists of an arcana attendant a strange pyro the flame deer and a strange north polar fleece uh the north polar fleece is painted lime and it just instantly works great with that arcana effect on the attendant I just really like how this loadout works, I love the f each of the cosmetics individually, and Arcana is a really really awesome effect, one of my favourite Halloween effects to kind of exist. I really like how the Attendant and the Flame Deer work together, you can see the antlers poking out of each side of the Attendant, but it's really nothing like too noticeable in terms of like the clipping, it's really not too bad. And overall, it's just a really nice combination. I really like how the lime paint works with the Arcana. And overall, it's just a really nice looking loadout. Like, I really do like it. Um, I think I've said that about most loadouts. But you know what? The, yeah, guys, that is just about it. So if you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, be sure to subscribe. The next episode of Outfit Battles it will, be, will be out tomorrow. So I hope you're all excited for that. Let me know down below if you are. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and peace.